YouTube channel. And I'm Spidey. And then here we have Zoe Bowie, Macaroni. Let's get a close up for her. She <laughs> <laughs> left the camera. She's full of laughs and makes everybody laugh constantly, especially our children. Yeah, she really, really does. She'll have them in tears crying because they're laughing so hard. It's just, she's a hilarious sweet dog. She looks pretty lazy right now while she's just sitting on me. This is usually how she looks. But in her defense, she has been eating a lot and doing a lot of videos a day and went on a road trip to PetSmart to get a bandana and a new outfit. So uh, she kind of took her down. Yeah, so most of the videos that you see me post are centered around Zoe. Uh, I will post other content, but she is one of the main things that I'm gonna have on my channel. But why not? Look at that face. Mm. <laughs> so, I just wanted to get in front of you guys today just to give you a little background about who we are. Background, I'm out. <laughs> so, we are both originally from South Texas. We've been in Vegas for almost about three years now. Um, no complaints so far. It is different whenever it comes to the lifestyle, I guess you could say. We are both very Southern, have a very Southern accent twang a lot of times. <laughs> yeah, not just that, but the culture is a little different. Definitely. Uh, but, you know, we love it. We wouldn't ask for anything else. And as far as... I love it out here because I like the diversity. I love waking up every morning and seeing crystal blue skies, seeing the mountains. I like the fact that everything is just minutes away. If we want to go out to the desert, it's That's a few nice. minutes. You know, if we want to go to the mountains and get some cooler air, boom, we go to the mountains, you know. There's no mosquitoes. Mm-mm, none. Little to no humidity. Very little. Uh, no rain. Not that we hate rain, but we don't want to have it every single day. We like to go outside. Um, he's more of an extrovert than I am. However, the older I get, I love being outside as well. So, that's one thing. Uh, what is another thing? Uh, what I really like is that, you know, you actually have the summer and you can do so much in the summertime, but then once you're tired of the heat, now here comes the wintertime. And it doesn't get so cold that you can't do anything, but, you know, at least in the summertime there's a constant breeze. That's true. Yeah. It does get very, very windy out here. Very it's windy. It's, uh, what do you call it, like a fishbowl? Yeah, we're, you literally live in a fishbowl because we're surrounded by mountains on all sides, so I mean, the wind just funnels right through, which is good when it's hot, but when you have fires in California and stuff like that, that's the only downer because the smoke comes through here. But luckily that doesn't hardly happen very often. Yeah, and there's also a lot of pollen in the air, so sometimes allergies can get a little hectic, crazy, but I mean, I can't complain too much. Like I said earlier, no mosquitoes, less humidity. Um, everything is very close to us. It's very, you know. Very convenient. Yes, yeah, very, very convenient. We live next to Sunset Park, which is an amazing park. If you just want to go feed the ducks, walk around the little pond, you know, if the kids want to play, there's lots of playgrounds. There's splash pads, you know, and there's a dog park, a huge dog park right next to it that we get to take our Zoe Belly macaroni to a lot, so. Yeah. We'll, you'll probably see videos of her at the dog park playing and chasing dogs and after the pool. It's definitely a very relaxing place if you want to get some exercise in, if you just want to go read, um, if you've been through a lot of stress lately and you just want to relax there, you can go and get you a little blanket, lay it down on the grass, lay in front of the ducks. One misconception that people think is if you live in Vegas, oh, it's all gambling, oh, it's all, you oh know, party God. time. <laughs> The real honest truth is we hardly go to the strip. The, the only time we go to the strip is if there's an event that we want to go to, which unfortunately through COVID there hasn't been very many events. Or if we just want to get out and get out with the lights and the glimmer and all that, you can do that because it's just literally minutes away. Same with Fremont, but it's a regular town. We go to Walmart, you know, when kids have school, you know, we have jobs, you know. Uh, I'm part of a Star Trek, the fleet, USS Windrunner, you know, we're a, like a community outreach program and we do a lot of fun things. So it's a really normal life here. So when people are like, oh, you live in Vegas? Oh my God, that must be crazy. No, it's actually very calm and very nice, to be honest. 
Yeah, and with him mentioning that, there was a lot of hate when we told friends and family that we were moving out here. It was it was a big deal. Um, from he said to she said, just all of the negative. No one wanted to see the positive. You know, anywhere that you live, there's going to be negative and positive. Um, I always say it's what you make it. So we chose out here. That's our life choice, and everyone else is just going to have to deal with it. It's not Sin City like everyone thinks it is. There's schools, you know, there's parks. It's, it's a normal atmosphere. Just like any other town, you just have this stuff available to you. That's the only difference. What I like is the diversity. Um, you know, if you're in you know, different states, you don't have a lot of like transits. Here, because it is Vegas, our children can grow up with people from all different you know, countries you know, from all different walks of life. So they're really gonna be able to embrace, you know, the diversity and it's gonna help them be even better people because, you know, they're not just gonna be on one track and that's only that track. I mean, they have opportunities galore here, so. Yeah, they will be able to embrace everyone um, from all around the world. Like you mentioned, there's just so many different people here, um, you know, and then that comes into empathy for others and just teaching our children to love everybody and accept everybody as who they are. Because I can tell you right now that certain parts of Texas are very conservative and they are not very nice with the green of other people's lifestyles, I guess you could say. Um, not at all. So anyways, that is pretty much it for today.